Welcome to Collect Review! I don't know why I do it like that, but eh, it works anyway. So today we are going to be reviewing an, a cartridge. Well, uh, <laughs> an old Nintendo cartridge. Actually, a new cartridge for the old Nintendo system. That was helped made as a reproduction by John Briggs. I'll have a link to his channel in the description. And you are probably wondering what the cartridge is? Well, it's Super Luigi Brothers! Wahoo! So I personally, myself, had to purchase this cartridge for $40 from John Riggs. And as it turns out, I have my I have one of my own. Except this version doesn't work. However, this one does. Now later in the video you might see me take these two apart and see what's inside, but I don't think it really matters right now. So I'm just going to put this in my own Nintendo, which I just hooked up, and we are going to see how well it runs and how good it is compared to the original Super Mario Brothers. Or maybe not, I don't know. Alright, so here is my NES with Super Luigi Brothers plugged in to the into the NES. So now I guess we can go for a one player round. Oops. There we go. And so far so good. Oh, hold on. Let me uh turn up the volume because it's uh well it's awfully quiet. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, everything looks pretty similar to the original. I want to see if the one up. Actually, not one up. The minus world trick works in this game. Uh, I did a tweet about it. Alright, now let's see how we go. Hey, first try! Oops. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. And yes, the one up. <laughs> I mean, sorry. The minus world trick actually works in Super Mario Brothers. I mean, Luigi Brothers. Instant death. Whoopee. I mean, all I really know is that the minus worlds are just. Well, it's just an exact copy of World One, or not? Sorry, World of World Two Two, but. Except that it's a hard, a bit harder, and when you enter the pipe, you uh, start at the beginning. Oh. This is gonna be a bit freaky. Hey, yeah, 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 Well, that failed. So, Super Luigi Brothers John Riggs created a decent laugh. I'll just kill it. John Riggs Super Luigi Brothers gets a. Uh, what way do I know? This way. Gets a 8 out of 10. Because, well. It's a. The original game was pretty good, and, um. Since it has Luigi in it, it's, um. Pretty good, I guess. And a um, fun fact about this game is that I, well, I'm actually the creator of the ROM for this game. And uh, well, if you, <laughs> well, if you'd like to check it out, I could put a link in the description, but I'm not going. And I'll just, I'll just put a link to ROMhacking.net so you can uh, get the patch for Super Mario Brothers to turn it into this game. And um, I guess since I'm already here with this cartridge. I might as well uh, take these two apart and uh, see what's inside and why mine doesn't work and why this one does. So um, I'm just going to uh, take out my uh, webcam. Actually, no, I don't need to. I can just use the webcam and drop it down. Probably flip it upside down. Okay, so the one on the gray shell is my version, which doesn't work. And this one is John Riggs's version, which does work. And the cartridge I was demonstrating with. So, let's see what's inside these two carts and see what the difference is. Dang, these screws are awfully tight. And when I'm uh, back down, I'm not 
Oops. I'm just gonna pretend I never did it. There we go. Now, I can take these two shells off. Okay. So, the... So... <coughs> So one of the differences is that the cartridge board is actually a different color. This one is green, this one is black. And um, why would I take these two boards out? Oh jeez, the board board. Break the board pretty tight. So apparently oh for one, the Adrian Run is set to birth is this board is set to vertical and not horizontal. Pad. See? And. Oh, I see the main difference. Okay, okay. It, it's the compass. It's the capacitor. There, I have. I was missing the capacitor. Okay. Now I know what the main difference is. Now I know why the game wouldn't work. And uh, even if I did have the capacitor, it probably still wouldn't have worked because. I had the mirroring set to vertical instead of horizontal. Okay, that makes sense. You know, I'm just gonna keep the cartridge shells the same. Because, uh, hey, I like to keep things the way they should be. Alright, that's enough of that. I already gave the rating for the cartridge. And, um, again, thank you, John Riggs. Very cool. With the one on card and the cartridge again. Alright, uh, surprisingly, the one of card didn't come with blue, but I don't care, I can always get some of my own. For some reason, that sounded really dirty. Anyway, enough chit chat for now. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Collect Review. And if you'd like to see the other episodes, I'll probably make a playlist of them. Um, probably right. I don't, I don't know. I'm probably not going to put up the outro until later. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell if you'd like. Check out John Riggs' channel in the description below. And that's all you have to do. So, uh, goodbye.